I'm just gonna do like a medium tempo so you can just hear how it should eventually sound once you've practiced, once you're used to switching back and forth without pauses in between, and once your fingers are used to more jumping from chord to chord. Some chords take longer than others to master. Sometimes you can master, you know, a switching between certain chords like C and A minor or something within a week or two. Some chords takes longer, maybe like a month or more, depending on how much time you have to practice and all of that. Certain chords are just harder than others, but with practice, you'll get them out and it's gonna sound so good. So just know if it is taking you more time than you think, either spend more time practicing or give yourself a little grace because it does take time. When I do play the practice sheet, I'm just gonna play it from beginning to end, those three lines of chords. But what you can do is the first line is C, A minor, C, A minor. You can just do the first line over and over again. Got that? Do the second line over and over again. Same thing with the third line. And then you can try playing it from beginning to end all three lines in a row. So really you can do it any way you want. This is just a great way to practice switching between the chords that you know. And then we're gonna do it with a metronome. We're gonna do it slow, but when you're ready for the metronome, jump in and do it. I'm gonna do the practice sheet with you right now. We're just gonna strum down, 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 down each chord that's on the practice sheet. I'll put it on the screen as well. start at 40 beats per minute with the metronome and you can just pick a line if you want you know memorize that line okay I'm just gonna do C a minor C a minor over and over again okay cool and then play it and then once you got that do the next line and so on or you can do it from beginning to end but just know where you're gonna go before you go there that's what makes it the fastest when you have the chords memorized, you know where your fingers are going, but also in your mind, you know what chord you're gonna play next. So if you just stick with the first line, C, A minor, C, A minor, then you know, okay, well, I know where I'm gonna go next because I just am doing those two chords. So, and then you can also try just reading it too as you go along. So what I would recommend is just kind of picking two chords at first, and then you could do the whole thing. If you feel like you got that pretty good, then let's try 50 beats per minute. 